In Florida's 15-week abortion ban is facing its first legal test after the high court overturned Roe v. Wade last week. The plaintiffs, including Planned Parenthood, are arguing the state's abortion ban is unconstitutional, and now the governor is reacting. Local Times' Christina Vasquez is live in Northwest Miami-Dade to explain. Christina. Essentially, what the high court did is it elevated the profile of state courts. The second, it gave it more power to make determinations when it comes to abortion access in states. Each individual state, like Florida now, looking at those laws within the context of their own state constitutions. That means that people on both sides of the abortion rights issue, well, they're watching these legal challenges to Florida's 15-week abortion ban set to start this Friday closely. Abortion rights are under attack. What do we do? When the Supreme Court ended 50 years of federal abortion rights. But now the fight goes back to the states. The high court punted the issue of abortion access back to the states. Florida's new 15 week abortion ban, HB5. There we go. <laughs> signed into law last April is supposed to take effect this Friday. But plaintiffs in this lawsuit, which includes Planned Parenthood, are asking Judge John Cooper to block the ban. HB5 directly impacts on the sanctity and the privacy of the physician-patient relationship. That's Dr. Shelley Tian testifying for the plaintiffs in a related hearing underway in a Leon County courtroom today. Citing the privacy clause in the state's constitution, plaintiffs argue HB5 is unconstitutional, writing in their complaint, quote, as the Florida Supreme Court has repeatedly recognized, this broad right to privacy includes a woman's right to decide to terminate a pregnancy. The state of Florida in its response said with the majority of abortions performed under 15 weeks, quote, for most women seeking an abortion, HB5 will have no effect at all, much less cause a significant restriction. So only 3.6% of abortions performed in Florida in 2019 occurred after week 13, right? Yes. And now you have a window in into why what's happening in that Leon County courtroom is really a microcosm of what you hear some folks when they say that there's going to be a patchwork of different rules and regulations depending on what state you live in now. Now that hearing is still continuing, actually just taking the stand as a witness for the state defendant. She is a Texas OBGYN that works at a pro-life organization. The judge indicating he's not quite sure if they're going to be able to wrap everything up today. He said the hearing may continue into Thursday. Of course, we'll be paying attention and bring you the latest. For now, reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.